Hello everyone. Our project is water quality monitoring system. Here is our team. We are from Electronics and Instrumentation Department, FISAT. So, why a water quality monitoring system? Let us see. Our product is designed mainly to help fish farmers. For fish farmers to be productive, they need to monitor their fish ponds regularly, keeping good records of parameters like a suitable temperature range, an ambient pH range, etc. One of the most important challenges that the fish farmers face is the acid rain and the loss due to it. So, when acid rain falls into the water, the overall pH of the water reduces. So, the fish cannot survive if the change in pH is too much. So, many fish die due to acidic water. So, what most of the farmers do is they keep changing the water without knowing the pH, which is a huge wastage of water. Some of them test the pH of water using the traditional method of test tube and pH solution but there is a great chance for error and inaccurate measurements. Other parameters to be controlled are turbidity of water, dissolved oxygen, water temperature and seasonal influences. Normal rain has a pH of 5.6 and acid rain has a pH of 4.2 to 4.4 which is much lower on the scale right? So as a conclusion, what if we give the farmers a product which measures pH, temperature and turbidity of water which gives them accurate digital readings. Will they choose it? Definitely, right? So here we use a pH sensor for measuring the pH of the water, then a temperature sensor, then the turbidity sensor. This is the MSP430 G2553 launch pad by Texas Instruments. First, we connect the three sensors to the Arduino and read values from them and display it on a LCD display. And these are their pin diagrams. This is our block diagram. And this is our schematic. For 3D modeling, we used Autodesk Fusion 360. Here you can see our whole body and the lower half where we connect all the three sensors and the LCD display to. These are the parts after 3D printing. Our product is designed in such a way that it provides maximum protection to all the three sensors. This is how we protect our pH sensor. The software used here are Arduino IDE for Arduino and CCS for MSP430. We were able to read the sensor values successfully using MSP430. Using Arduino 2, we were able to read the three sensor values and display them on a LCD display.